Hello, welcome back to the Early Early Show, hosted by me, Natalie Hami. Today we have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely, peaceful, caring goddess of love, Aphrodite. Yes, yes, like enough flattery, let's, let's go on. Okay, uh, Aphrodite, what is your occupation? I'm the goddess of love, pleasure, and beauty. And what are your responsibilities as the goddess of love? My responsibilities is to make sure everyone's happy with their love life. Um, but yeah, I can make anyone fall in love with anything, and like uh, I can make you hate anyone. Okay, um, that is seems to be a power. But do you have any other powers? Yeah, I answer like all the mortals, mortals' prayers, and if they don't like pray to me like every day, then I incinerate them. Okay. Um, do you have any special symbols or items that represent you? Yes, my symbols are uh, the dove, the rose, the sparrow, and the golden apple. Uh, what is the story behind the golden apple? There was a huntress named Atalanta, and she was one of the fastest women alive. And she was hold, held a race, and um, whoever beat her in the race uh, would marry her. So this young guy, he wanted to marry her, so he asked for my help. And um, I gave him three golden apples that were irresistible. So every time she went ahead of him, he could just throw it um, behind his head, and uh, she would have to go back and get it because it's irresistible. Um, so he won the race, but he didn't like give me uh, any thanks for it, so I incinerated him and Adam. Well, that is a very tragic ending to the story. Um, as you can incinerate people, do you use any weapons in warfare? Um, excuse me, and ruin like these nails? No way. I just send like my son arrows to do all my dirty. Um, so your son, uh, because you have a son, are you married? Well, I was married to Hephaestus, but he was, like, really ugly, so I started cheating on him, and he figured it out, so we got divorced, and now, uh, my boyfriend is Aries. Okay, um, who are your parents? Well, I was born when, um, Uranus was, like, chopped up by Kronos, and, like, his blood went into the sea, and it got me, and I was born. That's a very interesting, uh... Birth? Um, where do you live? Uh, like, I live on Mount Olympus, um, yeah, with all my, like, my personal spot and stuff. Um, do you uh, enjoy living there with all the other important gods and goddesses? Of course, they adore me, like, everyone adores me. Okay, um, do you have any other <laughs> hobbies besides just, um, making people fall in love? Yeah, like, I go to the spa every day and I get my nails done and do my Every single day? Every single day. And I feel like hours, but I don't care. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, Aphrodite. Um, tune in next time as we interview James Corden. And <laughs> now a commercial break. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go get my hair done. I got all poofy that. Well, she is very nice. And hopefully we can interview her again. Aphrodite's love perfume, the quickest way to make everyone fall in love. One sniff and you're irresistible. Hera, give it a try. Mm. Aphrodite, what did you do? This isn't love perfume, this is anesthesia. You guys are saying different. Oh, no, you're okay. You did switch. What? Go. What are you doing? What? Just say, man, I hope nobody calls during the end of our. <laughs> yeah. What? Just say, wouldn't it be odd if some awkward if somebody called right at the end of us? Yeah, just hold up. We'll start in a minute. Oh my gosh. I should never have let Hades give me these shoes because, like, my feet are killing me. Yeah, mine too. 